Hey guys, Sarge here from 100 Games 100 Days. Have you ever wanted to know what turn the AI builds wonders in a game of Civ 6? I auto ran 9 games on a standard Pangea map and recorded the turn the AI completed each wonder. I then collated the data into a spreadsheet so we can go through and analyze the data. There are some very interesting results. For example, some wonders the AI clearly prioritizes and some wonders the AI ignores completely. So you may not need to go out and rush, chop, or use great engineers to secure these wonders in a game. Instead, you can build them leisurely, knowing you should be fairly safe not to be beaten by the AI. Note that the game difficulty was set on DD, but that doesn't mean this won't be useful if you play on a lower difficulty you can still get a gauge on what the AI prioritizes. So let's check out the results. We'll start off with the Ancient Era of Wonders. Here, we can see we're looking at the data for the Great Bath. The Turn Complete column shows the number of turns it took from lowest to highest for the nine games, assuming the Wonder was built. The Count shows how many times out of the nine games the Wonder was built. The Min and the Max shows the shortest and longest amount of turns it took for the Wonder to be built, with the Diff being the difference between the two. And finally, we have the average and the median. The average is the total sum of the turns divided by the number of turns the wonder was built, and the medium being the middle number from the list of turns completed. So let's start off with the Great Bath. The Great Bath comes super early. If you're playing on DD, unless you're going to prioritize getting pottery, it's probably a wonder you're not going to worry about. If you really want to get it, you have to get pottery, and you probably have to chop it out to get it before the AI does. As we can see here, it was completed twice on turn 18, and as late as turn 42. But really, you're probably looking at early 20s if you want to build this wonder before the AI. Next up, we have Stonehenge. Pretty early wonder. Again, it's not something that I prioritize in a game. Came in 9 out of 9 games. As late as turn 94, which is pretty surprising. It does have the requirement of it needing to be built next to stone. If you're wanting to build this wonder, you're probably looking at in the mid to late 30s if you want to beat the AI to it. With some of the latest patches in the game, the pyramids come so freaking early and it's really painful, especially because it's really hard to find early desert to place this wonder. It comes in in the early 40s. If you want to get this wonder, you're going to have to get it before turn 45, to be completely honest with you. The Oracle, another painful wonder that the AI prioritizes now, and it comes in so early. As early as turn 42, you're probably looking at around turn 50. If you haven't had this wonder by then, then you're probably going to miss out. The Hanging Gardens comes in, it looks to be late 50s if you want to try and beat the AI. Of course, you could be beaten if you don't prioritize it earlier. We're looking at late 50s, early 60s if you want to beat the AI to the Hanging Gardens. And the Temple of Artemis, one wonder I actually like. I did do a tutorial on the Temple of Artemis if you want to check that out. It comes in pretty early, though the difference, 78, that's probably the biggest difference out of all the Ancient Era wonders. It can come pretty late. It does have the requirement of it needing to be next to a camp improvement. So in some of the games where the, it comes in quite late, there might have been not a good camp resource around all the capitals for the AI. The results are very varying for the Temple of Artemis. It is a wonder I've been able to get quite late. I think if you're looking at, if you're in the 80s and you haven't picked up the Temple of Artemis, it's probably going to go pretty soon. But as you can see, it does come in as early as turn 57. On to the classical era wonders. First, we have the Machu Picchu, and that comes extremely early. The AI just seems to beeline towards this wonder, and they build it super early, as early as turn 57 in these results. Um, I think if you're looking at around turn mid-60s and you haven't picked it up yet, the AI is probably going to get it. Next up, we have the Great Library. The Great Library comes in pretty early. It's interesting to note that one game, the Great Library wasn't built at all. It does have the requirement that it needs to be built next to a campus with a library on flat land. But there were a couple of games where it came in really late. But if you want to build this wonder, you're probably going to want to build it around early 70s. Jebel Barkle, that's a wonder that the AI seems to prioritize as well. It does have the requirement that it needs to be on a desert hill, which is hard sometimes to find in games. It's a wonder I don't build very often, but it does come pretty early. You're probably looking at mid to late 70s to try and secure it. Otherwise, you're probably going to get beaten. Mahabodhi Temple, the AI loves religious wonders. It does come quite late though, which is surprising. You do need 
theology for it, which is pretty standard if you're going for a religious victory. It's also good for a diplomatic victory. Comes in early, early hundreds. Uh, it wasn't built once. It does have the requirement next to be, it needs to be built next to a holy site on a woods tile. Always remember that. You need to save that woods tile. I've, there's been numerous games in the past where I have chopped out the woods tile before I was building the wonder and I've stuffed up many religious games or diplomatic games doing so. Apadana, the AI does like this wonder. On Didi, the AI gets to political philosophy quite early, so they start building it early. It's a wonder I really like, but just never get around to building because I'm usually prioritizing other wonders in a game, but it does come in pretty early, as early as turn 82 in the test that we did. I think if you you probably want to build it in the early 90s if you're trying to beat the AI. Colosseum, pretty varying results here. Only built eight of the nine times, some quite late. This is one of the, the more interesting ones, very varying results. The difference being 93 here. I think probably looking at early 90s if you want to try and beat the AI to this one. It's usually a wonder that's a nice to have. Uh, I don't mind missing out on this one too much, but it can be really good for culture games. Statue of Zeus, one of the new wonders that came out with the new Frontier Pass. Pretty varying results here as well with an 87 difference. Came in as early as turn 97, as late as 184. I've never built this wonder personally myself. I think it's better off using policy cards to chop out the units that you get with it. It's actually more efficient production-wise to do that, unless you're playing as the Zulu. This wonder is amazing. Probably looking at turn 115 or below if you want to try and beat the AI here. Petra, obviously another desert wonder comes in after turn 100 for the AI. More varying results here. You probably want to build it by before turn 110 if you want to get it. The Great Lighthouse, only built six out of nine times, only once before turn 128, which is pretty crazy. Do note that we did these tests on a Pangea map. So there's not as many coastal cities. There's not as many harbors. So the AI is not going to prioritize this as much as if we were playing on a continents map or islands map. One of those maps where there's a lot more ocean tiles than there is on a Pangea map. Uh, Terracotta Army came in pretty late, which is pretty surprising for a Pangea map. Earliest being 117. This is a really surprising one to me, uh, how late it comes in. You probably want to build it, I guess, by around 120 if you want to try and beat the AI. This is one of the most surprising ones to me. Mausoleum at Halicarnassus, only built once out of nine tests that we did. Again, Mausoleum at Halicarnassus, this requires a harbor. I believe it's just a harbor. It might require our lighthouses as well. But it needs to be built next to a harbor. So because we're playing on a Pangea map, this might be another one of those wonders that help the effects of a Pangea map. Build it at 161, but this might be one of those wonders where you don't really have to go out and rush for it. In games, you might want to rush for this simply for the fact that you might have a great engineer ready and you want to get that extra charge on your great engineer so you can maybe build another wonder or something like that. But I feel like you can cool your jets on uh, Mausoleum at Halicarnassus. You do not have to build this as quick as you think. And finally, we have the Colossus in the classical era only built six out of the nine times again pangea map not as much coast it gets built a bit more the mausoleum and i think it was about yes so the the great lighthouse had six out of nine colossus the same deal six out of nine times built as early as 125 as late as 200 probably want to be building it probably about by about 125 to be safe it's a pretty i like the wonder it's usually a wonder that you can build really cheaply get some error score get a free trade route trade routes by this point in the game around turn 120 are really valuable you can get a lot of gold and a lot of other yields from your trade routes. Before we continue, I'd just like to say if you're enjoying this video, it would mean a lot to me if you liked and subscribed, if you haven't already. It's a free way to support the channel and it really encourages me to keep producing these videos. Anyway, on to the next part. Onto the medieval era here, we have a Minarchy Temple built every single game fairly consistently. Not a, not a lot of difference here. This is probably one of the closest calls for this wonder. It comes in around the, well, as early as turn 85, around the lower end of the 90s. Alumbra, another wonder that's fairly tight. Every single game it was built around turn 120. Anchor Watt, this one has a bigger difference built in every game except for one you probably want to build this wonder around turn 120. kotaku in only seven out of nine games built another religious wonder the ai usually goes crazy for the religious wonders not so much this one you're looking at probably late early 30s to beat the ai here chicken itza eight out of nine times probably looking at around 130s to beat the ai university of sankor another desert based wonder in the 120 to 187 only seven out of nine times Probably want to get it built in the 150s. Huey Tiakali, the Lake Wonder. Pretty varying results here too. Was built most of the time. 130 to 197. You probably want to get it built before 140 to guarantee this wonder. 
Kilwa Kisawani, one of my favorite wonders. Comes in as, as early as 112 in the test that we did, only seven out of nine times. But outside the outlier of 112, 153 was the earliest. Again, it's another coastal wonder. So you have to keep that in mind. We're playing on Pangea with these tests. I think you probably want to get it built before 120 personally. Maybe even earlier if you want to beat the AI. Hagia Sophia only built five out of nine times. I believe this wonder requires you just to build it next to a holy site. I could be wrong, but only built five out of nine times and quite late. So I feel like if you want to build this by turn 160, 170, you should be fine. Mont Saint Michel wasn't built at all. It's not built in this autoplay game, which wasn't part of the test. All this wonder needs is you to have a holy site and it needs to be put on marsh. Or it can be built on floodplains as well. I don't understand why it's not built by the AI, but there you go. If you want to build this wonder, don't sweat it. You'll be able to get it. Onto the Renaissance era wonders, we start with the Forbidden City, a really good wonder to get. Comes in as early as 135, so you probably want to build it around there. Casa de Contra Tassion, built 8 out of 9 games, around 140s, 150s, can come later. Patala Palace, built as early as 155, as late as 195, only 7 out of 9 games. Good wonder if you're going for a diplomatic victory, and the extra diplomatic policy slot is really handy as well. Probably want to build this around the 155s to guarantee this wonder. Taj Mahal, not that much contested, only 3 out of 9 games, as early as 169, as late as 193. Probably want to build that around 170 to guarantee this wonder. The Great Zimbabwe, only 3 out of 9 times, um, as early as 170, as late as 198. And St. Basil's Cathedral and Venetian Arsenal were not built at all by the AI in the test that we did. The Venetian Arsenal is a coastal based wonder. It needs to be built on the coast next to an industrial zone. So we can understand why that wasn't built on a Pangea map. Uh, St. Basil Cathedral is an interesting one because it only needs to be adjacent to a city center. Onto the industrial era now. And I just wanted to point out, I forgot to mention this earlier, but we only did the auto players up to turn 200. So there's a good chance that the AI might build these beyond turn 200. However, I've just recorded this data to turn 200. So Oxford University built every single game very contested wonder it's a very important wonder especially if you're going for a science victory so you want to probably build this by turn 130 even though that's the earliest to try and guarantee this wonder i wouldn't risk it it's a very important wonder the big ben as early as 154 pretty contested wonder eight out of nine times build it before probably 154 if you want to guarantee this wonder Next up, we have Orzegaz, comes in at 184, as late as 202, only 3 out of 9 times, you're probably not going to have much competition for this one. Ruhr Valley, a great one to get, comes in 4 out of 9 times, you want to have this built before 189 to guarantee this wonder. Panama Canal, only twice, you want to be building this before turn 190. Hermitage, only once out of 9 times, again, I only did these up to turn 200, so there's a good chance they AI continue to build it. But you should be fairly safe building this wonder, and Bolshoi Theatre and Statue of Liberty weren't built at all. Onto the modern era, we have the Eiffel Tower was built one at once at 186, Bordre at 197 and 198, only twice, Golden Gate Bridge and Cristo Redenta were not built at all. And finally, we had the Atomic Era, and none of these wonders were built once in the 200 turns that I left the game on autoplay, on Pangea, standard map, on DT difficulty. And that's all the wonders. Were there any that surprised you? This was a great exercise personally to get a gauge on when I should feel comfortable completing wonders and something I'll be referring to a lot in games going forward. There's definitely a lot of wonders I won't be rushing for as quickly anymore. If you'd like access to this spreadsheet, links are in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. It really helps me out and it's a free way to support the channel. Thank you for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time.